dear students today's session i'll be discussing few topics in the fifth module that is concept of process and thread now let us see what exactly a process an application can be said to consist of number of process and each process runs under the control of an operating system examples scheduler task or an interrupt service routine shortly called as isr or in short a process consists of executable program state of which is controlled by operating system the state during running of a process is represented by process status process structure and process control block process status indicates ready running blocked and finished stages process structure indicates its data object and resources a process runs when it is scheduled to run by an operating system by executing the instructions and the continuous changes of its state take place as a program counter changes on a process request or on a system call the operating system gives the control of the cpu example mobile phone device embedded software now we know very clearly mobile phone software is highly complex it has a number of functions isr threads multiple device drivers and several program objects that must be concurrently processed on a single or a multiple processors on operating system controls the application software consisting of number of process some of the processes are display process graphic user interfaces shortly called as gui key input process for providing the user inputs and interrupts voice encoding and convoluting process and finally communication process this figure shows the different process here we have indicated n number of process a pcb is associated with each process a pcb in the sense process control block is associated with each process now we will see the function of a pcb a pcb is a data structure having the information about the process state which is been controlled by an operating system it is stored in a protected memory area of the operating system a pcb consists of the following information about the process state they are process id process priority parent process if it is any child process allocated program memory addresses allocated process specific data memory addresses allocated address for process heap process heap means the data generated during the process run that is a data generated during the process run is called process heap so a pcb will have an address for a newly generated data that is generated during the process run next thing it is allocated process stack address pcb will have the stack address also it will be having the cpu register addresses for process context process state signal mask that means when the mask is activated or set to zero the process is inhibited from running when the mask is reset to one the process is allowed to run it also pcb also contains resource descriptors that is file descriptor for open file device descriptor for open devices device buffer descriptors socket descriptor for open socket and finally security restrictions and permissions now we are moving on to the next concept thread embedded software can be said to consist of number of threads or number of process and threads this figure shows n number of process and we'll have k number of threads 
for let us consider a single process let us take process 1 so in this figure process 1 will have j number of threads so each thread will have its own program counter stack pointer stack priority parameter and the variables that load into the processor registers on contact switching so let me say once again a thread it can be a process or a sub process within a process that has its own program counter stack pointer stack etc now we'll move on to i'll say some points regarding the concept of thread a thread consists of an executable program state of which is controlled by an operating system the state of a thread is represented by thread status thread structure thread stack thread status consists of starting running blocked or finished state thread structure indicates its data object and a subset of the process resources it is also considered this thread is also considered consider as a lightweight process lightweight means running does not depend on system resources and it also this thread also is a process level controlled entity the process can control the thread that is why it is known as process level controlled entity a thread has its own signal mask at the operating system when unmasked the thread activates and run when masked the thread is put into a queue of pending threads that means when the thread is masked it is been pushed on to a queue of pending threads now we move on to multi processing operating system a multi processing operating system runs more than one process then what exactly a multi threaded process multi threaded process means a process consists of multiple threads the figure we have seen just now is an example for multi threaded process that means in that we have seen in a single process we have seen n number of threads so it is known as multi threaded process a thread can be called also called as a daughter process now we move on to thread parameters the thread parameters are a thread id thread priority program counter stack pointer cp registers and present status these are some of the thread parameters now we move on to the third state of the thread that is thread stack when a function in a thread is called the calling function state is pushed onto the stack top whenever its function is completed it has to be retrieved from the stack that by calling the stack top that is that means popping back to the normal registers so the fun the information carries the thread state has been carried through pcb that is program con process control block now for example for a thread it is mobile phone let it has many number of in a mobile phone if you consider a mobile phone it has many number of process let me take one of the process as the display in a display process we have multiple threads for example a thread for displaying the clock time and data and the thread for displaying the signal power for communication with the mobile service providers and and the thread for displaying silent or uh, sound active mode and finally uh, a thread for displaying battery power so now it is very clear that a process having many threads a pro here in this mobile phone example process means a display display process now i am taking only one process that is display process in the display process here i have considered four cases displaying the clock time and data displaying the signal power displaying the silent or sound active mode displaying the battery power these are the different threads to be worked out in the particular process so i think now it is very clear what exactly a process and thread thank you yeah,